Hello, Shumai Pinhamda. Good after n- good afternoon. My n- name is the L- late preacher James Davis, and welcome to my channel. Uh, th- this is a sermon, even though it's not a Sunday. I um, I'm doing a sermon today because I haven't had a chance this Sunday or last s- Sunday to make a sermon last Sunday. Can't remember, but I know that that the Sunday. Uh, j- j- I know the Sunday just gone. I didn't make a sermon simply because um i just didn't okay that's all i'm gonna say i just i just didn't okay in this video we are going to be talking about the actual skin color of jesus christ as if that has any importance but there has been a controversy for many 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 years over the skin color of Jesus Christ and what the skin color of Jesus Christ actually was. And this video is going to be entitled Jesus Christ wasn't white. So what? And yes, so what? Who cares? Why does the skin colour of Jesus Christ even matter? Why is this even a debate? Why is this even a concern? Surely what matters is is that is that this man became a god two thousand years years ago. He was sinless and he had to be sinless and innocent in order to pay for our penalty on that cross 2,000 years ago. Why can't I point to it? Right? He came to die on the cross for our sins. He was the ultimate atonement to, to, to bring mankind back to God the Father. He is the mediator between man and God the Father. He went to the cross to keep our souls from going to hell and on the third day he, he was resurrected, meaning that he spiritually conquered death. That's all that should matter. I don't care if Jesus Christ was blue with purple spots. Who cares? But apparently some people do. And this is why we're having this controversy. And yet it seems strange that people will only pick on on white Christians who portray their Jesus as a white man. Despite the fact that you can also have a black Jesus, a Chinese Jesus, a Japanese Jesus, and any other Jesus that Christians portray in their in their national community. But that seems to be okay. Well, I am going to cause even more controversy here by doing this. I'm, I'm, I am about to show you something. There we are. There is a white Jesus. And here is another white Jesus. Two Jesuses. Yeah. I know, I'm so sorry for being such a racist. I'm sorry. Right, now, if you have your Bibles with you, please turn to... Please turn with me to 1 Timothy, chapter 2, from verse 1 to verse 6. So, that is 1 Timothy, chapter 2, from verse 1 to verse 6. I exhort, therefore, that, first of all, supplications, prayers intercessions and giving of thanks be made for all men for kings and for all that are in authority that we may lead a quiet and peaceful life in all godliness and honesty 
for, for for this is good and and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior. Who will have or who will have all men to be saved, and and to come unto the knowledge of the truth? For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus who gave himself as a ransom, hence the cross, for all to be testified in due time. Verse 3 is very important to you, right? Sorry, verse 4, but, I'll, but I will uh, go from verse 3. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Saviour, who will have all men, all men to be saved and come unto the knowledge of the truth. And then we'll go straight to verse 6. Who gave himself as a ransom for all to be testified in due time. Now, in, in verse 4, it mentions the word all. The same in verse 6, it mentions the word all. Now, what does all m m mean? It means no one is excluded from salvation. Whether you're white, black, Asian, grey, purple, whatever. So the point is, why does it matter if Jesus Christ is portrayed as a white guy? Especially when it's from European Christians. It, you know, it's so simple. Let me explain why Jesus is, is, is um, portrayed as a white person in Europe. Even though, yes, we know that Jesus wasn't white. At the same time, he wasn't black either, as some people claim, right? He, he wasn't fr from the Congo. He was from the Middle East. So yes, he wasn't white, but at the same time, he wasn't black. He was um, a dark-skinned color, but he was in between... Now, what I'm trying to say is, he was, I can't really explain it, because I can't really, um, he was an Israel, he was an Israelite, he was from Israel. In fact, in today's <laughs> geography, if he was alive today, he would actually be a Palestinian, yes. Bethlehem, he was born in the town of Bethlehem. In the town of Bethlehem, in Judea, which is now modern-day Palestine. No, he wasn't a Muslim. I have to get that out as well in case I give people the wrong impression. No, of course not. He was, he was Jewish, but at the same time, he was a Palestinian. If he was born to, if he was born in this. <laughs> A, a modern era so anyway why was Jesus Christ seen as a white guy in Europe why is he portrayed in paintings as a white person why is he portrayed as someone like me except he was slim of course well it's perfectly simple and I don't know why so many people find it so too hard to understand and why it is so controversy. Because at that time, during the Dark Ages, when Christianity was introduced into Europe by missionaries, who, what group of people dominated you about that time. Let me think, let me think. Oh, yes, white people, the Europeans. Who are the indigenous people to Europe? White people. There weren't many blacks or Asians in Europe at that time. I'm not saying there weren't any, but the amount of non-Europeans in Europe at that time 
would have been negligible. It would have been very few and far between. As a white person, as an indigenous European living anywhere from Spain to Scandinavia, you could live your whole life without seeing another ethnic group except white people. So why is Jesus portrayed as a white person in in Europe? Because the people at the time, they, they could only relate to their own communities. They could only see the world around them in their own communities. They knew that they were a, a white person and they could see only other white people around them. You know, over half of the Europeans didn't even know what a black person was. They'd never seen one before. And of course, you know, there were no cameras or phones or 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 television or satellites or sat navs or maps in those days. Do you know what I do you know what I mean? So it's perfectly simple to understand why Jesus is portrayed as a white man in Europe. Because Europe is dominated by white people. It's not difficult to understand, is it? And why is this such a controversy? So we've seen as white in, in Europe. So what? In China, he's seen as Oriental. The same as in Japan and Vietnam and other Christians in that area. Why? Because that's the, the, the because that is the only people that they see in those days in the Dark Ages. Right? Japan what only saw other Japanese people, Orientals. They didn't know what a white person was. The same as in China, same as any other place where any country that you go to in those days, you only saw indigenous people in those areas. Very few people travelled. The only people th that travelled was missionaries. And speaking of Japan, I do have to correct myself there because I'm going on a bit of a rant. All right, okay. Um, Christianity was introduced to Japan by European missionaries, I think, from the 16th to 17th century, if my memory serves me correctly. I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, that's not the point. That's n not the issue of this video. The video is, is why is it that, that, that these people only attack and accuse and, well, yeah... Just and criticize the white Jesus when there's other Jesuses also that are betrayed as non European in non European countries. Why does it matter? As I said, who cares what a skin color was? What's more, what's more important that he went to the cross, to, to die for our sins. What's more important, that he took our place because we cannot save ourselves, hence why God had to, had to send someone perfect to die for us. Isn't that more important? Isn't the resurrection more, more important? I mean, I don't care if I saw Jesus Christ painted as red. Or blue, or purple with a multicolored zigzags. It doesn't bother me. Why? Because it's not important. Can you not understand that? Can you not see that? Thank you. You know, we, we you know, with having all these petty, nonsensical, nonsense debates. It takes our focus off the real focus of Christianity, and that is the and that is the cross. Focus on the cross. Don't focus on his ethnicity, because it doesn't matter. Thank you. Anyway. <sighs> Do 
Take me home, Christ, please. Just take me home, Lord. Just take me home. Give me away from this sinless, God-forsaken planet. Anyway, to my brothers and sisters in Christ, thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, listening. Please don't hesitate to hit that like button. Please don't hesitate to share this uh, video. And to my brothers and sisters in Christ, if I do not get to see you in this lifetime, I shall see you all in our Father's kingdom. Thank you all, and God bless you all, in Jesus' precious name. Amen.